Hi guys, it's Adrian Brody bringing you another Project Spark Sparks project. This is a map called Red vs Blue Reloaded by Ghost with a Z757. Um, tell me a bit about this, Brody, because I saw you playing this and it was pretty interesting. This is basically, uh, at its core, I think it's a capture the flag sort of situation. Uh, you see at the start you get to pick your character, which is very interesting. This game would have taken a long time to make. Uh, I just went with the archer. I didn't get a chance to try out the other guys. I'm sure they're great though. Um, yeah, so basically there's a set of... I think it's three flags per colour. So there's six flags all together. And you basically got to stand in the area until you capture them. Um, okay. When you, when you capture them you see a little minion spawn. Uh, the crux of the game is that there is an enemy hero, as you can see him right there. It's basically identical to yourself, or he may pick another character. Um, this would be great for, mod for a multiplayer pack for Sparks. Yeah, I was um, just thinking about that. It yeah. has some like League of Legends type gameplay mechanics yeah. in it, as well as you know yeah. mixed with Capture the Flag with Halo and things like that. Yep, that's great. That's right. A lot of MOBA, MOBA style action game. Uh, yeah, so very hard, quite difficult. Uh, that guy is relentless. <laughs> <You can laughs> wow! All my, all my minions attacking him, including myself. Um, the attacks are fairly basic. You got just an arrow shot. You got like a, a charge shot as well. Uh, you do get a special shot, um, as you can see, um, I think I showed it just before, where you just shoot a bunch of arrows into the sky and it rains hell on the enemies. Um, there are more specials to come. It is uh, advertised in the description. Oh, that's and pretty yeah. cool. So basically, you get to their flag, you stand around it for a bit, you capture it, and you eventually capture all their flags and get to the base where we are now? That's right. Um, what happened actually, I got to the base earlier than this, and I was hitting the door, and then the guy caught, recaptured one of the flags, and it immediately stopped me from attacking it. Um, so that's a nice little mechanic they've got in the game as well. It, makes you need, it uh, ensures that you're certain you've defeated him before you win. Ah, that's pretty cool. So I, you played this for about 15 minutes, and then there's about oh, four four different other characters. So there's a lot of gameplay in this little short game. So it seems pretty good. Yep, good job. Go seven five seven seven five seven. <laughs> seven, five, seven. Yeah, good job, guys. Good job. 